All right, what's up everyone? Today we're going to take a look at query level bidding or otherwise known as three tiered shopping campaigns. So just a little intro, three tiered shopping campaigns or query level bidding is a strategy used for brand name items. The idea is to create three shopping campaigns containing the same product and we will set priority levels for each campaign from high to low while applying our bids respectively. So this is a strategy that marketers are using to charge customers thousands because of how effective it is. For example, if you're selling a brand name item and not using this strategy, you could be paying same, the same for low quality clicks as you are for high quality clicks. And what's even more is depending on your Google settings, Google may end up optimizing your ads for low quality clicks since that's where you're getting most of your clicks. And that kind of just signals to the algorithm to optimize for that search term. Right, so Google's not really going well. He's not getting sales. So let's stop um, optimizing for this search term that's getting them so many clicks. So remember, at the end of the day, Google is a business and an automated one for the most part. And just a little more intro. If you're interested in learning more about this strategy, I have posted an article from Raphael in 2017. So you can learn more about this strategy. And if you're into that intellectual heavy lifting, then definitely take a look at it and try to break down those concepts where it goes a bit more in depth with explanation. But for those of you who are just here for the benefit of a better cost per acquisition because you want to get more sales and you want to, you know, get rid of that nine to five lifestyle, we don't have to do any intellectual heavy lifting here because we're going to provide a live demonstration on how you can implement this strategy. So just to go a bit further, another benefit to the three tier strategy is conversions. When your ad is leading to sales, guess what that's telling the algorithm? Your ad is leading to a good user experience and should be served more. You will be bidding the highest for high quality search terms. And in doing so, you're giving your ad the best placement or at least a good placement, likely placement to get a conversion for those brand plus model search terms. So. In order to for this concept to really make sense, think about the consumer buying phases in that we have interest, consideration and decision to give perspective. We need to define the criteria for a search term in relation to the buying phase to illustrate interest level search terms are usually our lowest quality search terms or least relevant to the product we're selling. These search terms do not contain a brand name, a model or a SKU number. And the consideration phase search terms will contain the brand name and exclude the model, uh, the model number, as well as the SKU and UPC, even if it's available. So we want to make sure that's not triggering in the consideration campaign. In this category, the user is likely looking more into a brand that they like or recently became aware of and now are doing further research. If we are selling said item, it poses a good opportunity for us to familiarize our website with this potential customer. And then finally, we have our decision phase, and this is users typing in the brand name plus the model and or SKU slash UPC. These are the highest quality search terms given that it suggests the prospective customer knows what they want and are now looking for the best price reviews website they can trust. So with that being said, now we have a slight understanding of the format and the objective of this strategy, but what about the structure and the logic? So we're going to try to establish a sort of control flow with our Google campaigns. And in this video, we will create three campaigns, preset negative keywords, set priority levels, then wrap it under one shared budget. So you can see how exactly this strategy works from start to finish using this product right here on Thor kitchen. Um, this is on build.com. So not a place where I would recommend finding your brands, but you know, it could be also a possible place where you could find some ideas. And this is the idea I'm going to use for this video. So I'm going back into Google shopping. I'm going to go click on shopping campaigns and I'm going to go ahead and create a new campaign. Now I'm going to choose my objective and that is sales. All right. And we'll continue there. And we're going to do shopping. So 
settings set for the United States. I wouldn't dare do a smart shopping campaign. And we're gonna keep it standard. All right, and we'll call this campaign name our logo priority. So we'll say Thor. Hello. Pretty. Keep it manual. Given that we don't have any real data, I just like to start off manual right away. Of course, your favorite guru might tell you that's wrong. You should just do increased conversions because Google has a bunch of data already about your website, which it doesn't. So I'm not going to use this. And set your average daily budget for me guys i'm comfortable with twenty dollars per day um we'll get into creating a shared budget later so i'm not gonna i'm gonna just keep it as an individual campaign budget for now and my priority campaign priority is going to stay low okay so this is going to be my highest quality search term campaign where i want my best search terms to my decision level search terms to land now include search network absolutely not and just some specifications for those of you if you are working with domestic suppliers you should consider the regions where you can and can't ship to so for some instances you might have to put like alaska right because the shipping could just be absolutely insane or hawaii again because the shipping could be absolutely insane we're talking about a fridge here So while we want to target the United States, we just want to make sure we get those ones out of the way. Right. Now, in terms of location op options, presence or interest, people in, regularly in, or who've shown interest in your target locations, that's recommended. But what I want is people in or regularly in my targeted areas. All right, so I don't want someone who's showing interest from Thailand to be able to possibly see this ad, right? Or showing interest from Canada to see this ad, right? Because my supplier maybe only ships within the greater US, so there's no point in me trying to advertise outside of the US, and more specifically, the greater US. All right, and then we'll add group, just to keep it identifiable, I'm gonna put low priority. And this would be my highest bid, so 0.5. Okay, now what we're going to do here is to it all right so now we have our second campaign done and I'm just going to retitle this medium priority save I'm going to go into this campaign and change the ad group as well so I don't confuse myself medium priority and now we're gonna also go to our negative keywords we're gonna add some negative keywords so of course you have your universal negatives but just for the purpose of this video we're going to focus on how we would place these terms so let's get this search term here and we're going to paste that there Okay, now I think Google's not a big fan of these full stops. 
So in this example, what I don't want to show is Thor Kitchen. So I want to avoid this triggering my ad. And I also would like to avoid this model. So we do phrase match negative keywords. So any search term including this phrase won't show, right? It won't show. So even if they put in a million different titles, if it contains this SKU, the ad won't show. Okay, so we have our um, product title and then we have our SKU, but we don't mind if Tor, the actual name Thor is being shown in our search term for the medium priority. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We have our two uh, pre-filtered negative keywords. So now if anyone types this in, it's going to automatically bring them to the low priority. And there's some other things that we still have to do. So let's do that. And we'll go down to settings. And we're going to change our campaign priority to medium. Okay. And we're also going to go back to this campaign into the product group and we're going to make our bid a bit lower okay so 40 cents all right and now let's go back to the shopping campaigns we're going to do this one more time i keep doing this you got to make sure you're on campaigns and we're going to hit edit copy V and now you can kind of see the rhythm that we develop when we're creating these campaigns so some people prefer to do it for brand level on their campaign some prefer to do it for all of their products all of their brands in just three campaigns some people do it on a per product basis so you can get extremely granular with this process so just waiting for this to load before we move on to our next steps. Okay, and we have our final campaign, which is going to be our high priority campaign. Okay, and we'll click on that again. Always make sure you make that edit, otherwise you can end up confusing yourself. And we can see here on the ad group level, we wanna make sure that we can adjust this as well. The 30 cents, that should be our lowest bid. Just something I personally do, guys, I don't suggest you do it, but I like to just keep my max CPC at one cent. So let's go back to this high priority now and we have our lowest bid set and let's go to our settings again and we're looking and we see our campaign priority we're going to make this high because we want this one to show first this is going to contain our lowest quality search terms our interest level search terms so we're probably going to get our most clicks from this campaign but we want to pay the least amount for them so we'll go to keywords and we have this already copied from the medium campaign. So all we have to do now is add one more, which is the brand level, and that is Thor. So anything containing Thor, the model number, or the product name is going to get canceled out. So only search terms like fridge, fridge sale, uh, fridge uh, ideas, metal fridge reviews or something are going to really land in our high priority. And for our medium priority, we're going to see the Thor 
search terms, but it shouldn't include the model number or SKU. And then where we have our highest bid, where we will likely get our best placement, is for the brand and model name for this product. So when this product is specifically searched on Google, our ad can get the best or at least decent placement. Um, of course, this model is not foolproof. You have to adjust. Sometimes the keywords may land in the other um, campaign. And what you have to do then is continuously monitor and start to add uh, phrase match negative keywords or exact match negative keywords depending on the search term, right? So you do have to use a bit of your own personal judgment. But with that being said, we're not done just yet. So let's uh, finalize this. So we're going to go over to tools and settings and shared library and we're going to go down to shared budget. Okay, and here we're going to create it. Or let's just give it like a slash, a pipe. Three tiered. We're going to select our campaigns under the shared budget. And voila, now it's all done under a shared budget. Now when we go back and look at the budget, we'll see that it is shared budget or so they're all working together wrapped under the same budget with that filtration process in place. Um, of course, you can go through and add your universal negatives, guys, like, for example, used. I would just put like used in all my campaigns because you're not selling used products. And that's just an example of um, um, a negative phrase match that you could use across all these campaigns. But what we see here, um, otherwise we want our best, most relevant brand name plus model plus SKU and or UPC landing in our search terms for our low priority. We want to see Thor plus some type of generic interest level search term landing in our Thor medium. And then we want to see just the relevant, but most irrelevant search terms. Um, relating to this product in our high priority where we have our lowest bid. So logically speaking, this strategy is designed to help you improve your CPA as well as get more conversions on Google and overall become a better e-commerce dropshipper. All right. So I hope you guys found some value in this video. If you did, please hook it up with a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video as we attempt to navigate this e-com metaverse. Peace.